Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm. February can be a very critical time for bees for two reasons. They can starve to death or they can be honey bound. And um, first of all, uh, I know this is shameless, but uh, right underneath the video you see a thumbs up. Well, click on that and I'll get a blue ribbon. And then you'll see a little rectangular box a red, a red box it says subscribe and you click on that and I'll get another another blue ribbon now uh, I do I've got something new here I do not script my videos and I, I, I realize that sometimes I may misspeak or leave some little detail out so I have started a blog on the internet and uh, I'm Every video that I give, I'm going to type it out and put it on the, the blog. And uh, you can also ask questions on the blog. Now, uh, the name of the internet blog is beekeepingtutorials.com. Beekeepingtutorials.com. And uh, uh, after I, uh, you, you, will, you will see that. That will be the first one you see. I've got about three or four blogs on there right now and you can comment on the blog and you can also go down under this video right here you can go down underneath and you see the comment section you can send me a comment or ask me a question and I'm, I'm pri privileged to, to help you and answer any questions you have uh, now uh, concerning bees uh, starving or being honey bound uh, now, keep in mind, we are in Zone 7. That is, uh, uh, we're in the northwest corner of Mississippi, and so the timing will be different for beekeepers that live south of us compared to beekeepers that live north of us. So we're in Zone 7, uh, upstate Mississippi, and uh, in this scenario, we're going to say the hive is, it has two full honey supers, and it has two deep brood chambers. And uh, a, a, a viewer asked me, uh, should he extract the two supers of honey? So the two honey supers are full. And in this scenario, we have, say, 11, 10 or 11 deep frames of honey in the top brood chamber. I told him, yes, take the two honey supers off and extract it. So you can put them back on there when the honey flow starts. Now, with the two honey supers off and, and, and we have two deep brood chambers and the top brood chamber is full of honey and that restricts the queen where she can lay. So uh, you would take uh, seven or eight of those deep frames of honey out protect them from the moths. Uh, now, that's not as critical this time of year as it would be in warm, warmer weather. And then you have to put, uh, replace those frames and with foundation or, or empty comb. Uh, now, if, if you extracted that honey immediately, those seven or eight frames, I mean immediately, and put them back in there the next day, then that's, that's a choice. Now, uh, once you do this, you've taken seven or eight frames of comb honey uh, out of honey out of there. And let's say you leave two or three. Uh, uh, if the bees have to be able to get to it, let's say that you leave those two frames of honey on, on, on the outside, one on each side, and it turns real cold weather, and your colony is in the center then if, if it turns real cold for a few days, they can starve to death with that honey on the outside. So the bees have to be able to get to the honey. Now, if, if the colony is centered on one side or the other side, you can move them toward the center. And, uh, and in this scenario, you, you would have to keep a, a close eye on them. If, if they uh, 
use all that honey up, those two or three frames up, you may have to take some of that honey, those other frames that you took out and put back in there. So you do not want them to, to, to starve to death because you took the comb, you took the honey out. But uh, with all those frames in that top brood chamber full of honey, then the, the queen cannot lay. The eggs that the, lay, the queen lays now are the beads that's going to make you the honey in May. So if you wait till April and May to correct the, the uh, honey bound situation, then you waited too late. Now, uh, if, if your hive is, is, is light, you can, you can go to the rear of your hive, you can pick it up. You can pick up the, the, the rear end of the hive. You can get an idea if it's, if it's real light or if it's heavy. And uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, in this new scenario that you know your hive is real strong and, uh, uh, and they're living hand to mouth. Uh, and it's pretty weather, your bees are strong, and uh, man, you think you're in good shape, but they're living hand to mouth, they really don't have any extra honey in the hive, and, uh, and then it rains two or three days. That hive can, can and very likely starve to death, so, so you have to keep a close eye on that. Uh, uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know either down below or in my uh, uh, beekeepingtutorial.com. You can go down there and ask your question. I'll be glad to answer it. Uh, now, now, this is kind of personal here. Uh, I think it was King David that had, had dreams, you know, and, and last night I had a dream, and I, I felt very fortunate. And uh, it was on the wall. It was, it was written on the wall. It said... Uh, Get happy, stay happy, because happy won't knock on your door. <laughs> so, so I think that's correct. Uh, now, when I was, you know, you don't remember a lot of things when you were young, you know, in grade school, but some things stick out in your mind. Well, my first day of, of the third grade, the teacher uh, asked our class that if, if anybody in this class feels stupid, please stand up. And, and you know, of course, nobody stood up. And uh, the teacher said, uh, surely there is somebody in this class that feels stupid. And so I stood up and the teacher said, Timmy, said, uh, do you feel stupid and, and why? And I said, no, ma'am, but I didn't want you the only one standing. <laughs> and so, but anyway, uh, uh, when I was a teenager, uh, you know, teenagers will do foolish things, you know. And uh, I dialed 911, and, and uh, the operator uh, said, what is your emergency? And, and I said, well, I, I need some help. And she said, well, uh, uh, what do you need help with? And I said, well, I've got two girls fighting over me. And uh, she said, well, what's the emergency? I said, well... The emergency is that the ugly one's winning. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that wasn't that wasn't nice. I'm sorry. All right, if y'all have any questions, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Bye bye.